EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for him, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. From the 22, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Mahomes to throw. He finds Robinson. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 40 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Moore now to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at about the 32. First carry for James Conner. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Right back to Connor here on first. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. 
don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first and 10 is counter. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And the Chiefs are going to get him. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And quickly to Kelsey. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. On this one, incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if he continues to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. down Mahomes and he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 and defensively they were in zone coverage there do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone yeah you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up I think it's a good point you just brought up so maybe if you still want to play zone you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front defensive end defensive tackle it doesn't matter you just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield on second and nine Mahomes it's caught on the right side by Robinson Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. 
And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Darrell Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can... And that is caught, one-handed. Oh, my, pulled it in. A big connection on that one. 34 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. Murray again. This is Connor. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Murray now. On the slant, complete to Hopkins. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with counter. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins, 27 yards. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. Extra point, hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Mahomes now on first down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 28. Mahomes to throw once more. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Let's 
from the 22. Mahomes over the middle complete. That's Hill. Touchdown! Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Butker on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Set to return it, here's Moore. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Now Murray, he's going to air it out deep for Green. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. the first down and more and finally brought down at the 43. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. They fake the handoff, now Murray. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, he's going to air it out deep for Green. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Now it's Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. A final shot before half for Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. They've got his man complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Oh. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Now, they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this pass broken up. And the contact, a no time there, and no fourth goal. This is our brand new member as well. I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender. I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And Butker pulled it. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't... Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. 
picked off at the 38. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Moore now on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Here we go. They'll run here with Connor. And some room to run now. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 58 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. And now Murray's going to set up the throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Murray. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. 
This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And going deep for Hill. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From his own end zone now, it's Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that kick. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and ten. To throw, it's Murray. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Murray going to throw. And this is a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. 53, Mike, 53. Now Murray's got to have this one. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is taken in at the five. And he takes it all the way down to the yeah, three. Yeah, it's a big play there on fourth and ten. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Here's Murray. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call. It ended up maybe closing them out. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that one drops down incomplete. 
Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Flushed out right. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Mahomes now on first down. A quick slant to Hill. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Mahomes going to throw it here. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Moore now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And incomplete on the deep ball. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Interesting. Mahomes wants to throw it. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember... This is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will extend this big lead. And all the Chiefs have it. Well, there you go, just your everyday leading big. Side kick it with a lead. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. 
I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the cut. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Chiefs will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Sliding out of the pocket. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds a defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And that one falls incomplete. And they're left now with just two seconds here in the first half. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And the Cards come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.